it really is like it's a it's a whole new game for me as a trumpet artist to be playing on this instrument because the instrument itself is so deep. I feel like every time I play it, I cannot uh, exhaust the possibilities on this trumpet. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Nielsen. I'm the trumpeter in the Kobe Watkins Group Tet, and I also teach trumpet at Utah Valley University. And I wanted to introduce you all to my new trumpet friend, the Lotus Silver Flare. I had the opportunity to meet with Adam Rappa and the Lotus team over the summer at the International Trumpet Guild Conference in San Antonio. And I knew that I was looking for an instrument that would allow me a level of freedom that I just haven't experienced on other instruments before. Playing uh, in the many situations that I do, I'm a crossover artist, but in particular, uh, my work with the Kobe Watkins Group Tet. It is a simultaneously athletic and musical event to play uh, in that group. There is a range of colors and dynamics. The demands of performing there have left me feeling like I just needed more options. And the things that I was looking for in a trumpet had to do with being able to switch tone colors really quickly because the music could change on a dime. So I was looking for an instrument that would allow me a freedom to move from like a really smoky sort of ballad-esque tone. To being able to un unleash the hounds and really get into an intense sort of shout quality. In, in addition to that, that range of color that I needed to be able to access without working so hard to manipulate it. I was also looking for a horn that would give me just easier access to the upper register. That is the only horn I have ever played that has slotted for me on a G like that. In addition to wanting to have a greater variety of colors available to me and, a, and an easier uh, transition through many dynamics and the, an easier upper register, I was also feeling frustrated with the equipment I was on uh, just in the ability to move around, uh, to be able to simply sing in my head the lines that I'm hearing and trust that the horn will just follow that song. And I'm finding that on this on the silver flare also. And honestly, I wanted something that would let me fall into like a really soulful, bluesy groove where I could simply talk and sing through the horn without wondering about whether or not the horn would come with me.
And lastly, I was looking for a horn that would let me just relax and sing while I'm playing, um, rather than thinking about how to play the instrument. So that's the Silver Flare for me. It's my favorite trumpet I've ever played on the stage or off. I feel like it's inviting me in new directions as an artist because there's a freedom emerging in me as a player that I haven't been able to access on other instruments before. And maybe most important of all, this instrument lets me open up a connection to what's inside me and it becomes kind of a beautiful bridge for connecting that and inviting it into the world of sound. It really is like, it's a, it's a whole new game for me as a trumpet artist to be playing on this instrument because the instrument itself is so deep. I feel like every time I play it, I cannot uh, exhaust the possibilities on this trumpet. I don't feel like I'm bumping into the edges of the, of the potential of the instrument I haven't found them yet. The limits on this horn seem to have to do entirely with me as a player. It's just really fun to play on a horn that I can just trust will follow wherever my creative imagination takes me. And I am so, so excited about whatever it is they're figuring out at Lotus Trumpets.